Welcome to Dot Point S5, and this is um, researching the importance of microbes and invertebrates in decomposition and nutrient cycling. So, related to the last couple of dot points, um, particularly the, the last one, S4, about um, nitrogen and carbon cycles, um, this is looking at how both like microbes, meaning uh, bacteria and fungi, um, and also invertebrates such as worms and millipedes, etc., um, help break down uh, organic matter and help cycle nutrients, so um, carbon and nitrogen around um, the atmosphere, um, etc., and the and the soil, etc. So we need to um, continue to build on our knowledge of the carbon and nitrogen cycles um, to look at bacteria and worms um, and how they change them. As I mentioned, so firstly, we should start by defining these three things um, because these are the things that we're really looking at mostly here. Microbes, so microbes are microorganisms. Um, they're organisms that are too small to be viewed with the naked eye, such as um, examples of bacteria, protozoa, or fungi. Um, that's what we mean when we say microbes. Invertebrates are basically any creature without a backbone. So um, examples here are worm or millipede, and we've got the millipede here um, as an example, which eats things. Um, so it takes things in, it chews them, um, which breaks them down, but also then they break them down in their digestive system. And then once they're excreted, they are in simpler forms um, that plants can potentially access. Um, back to microbes, we, <clears throat> we also have two examples of microbes here. So we have Azotobacter, which is a, um, when you look at the nitrogen cycle previously, this is a, pr a free living soil bacteria that fixes nitrogen. So it lives freely in the soil. Um, it doesn't need a plant or roots or nodules or anything like that, but it lives freely in the soil. And that's known as Azotobacter. And it's really good if you can remember that name. Um, this other one here, Rhizobium bacteria, is found inside uh, the nodules. And we already know uh, a fair bit about Rhizobium and um, the bacteria that are found inside the nodules uh, and which fix nitrogen from the atmosphere and make it so that plants can use it. The last thing here is um, decomposition. So what is it? It's um, separating or resolving into constituent parts. So breaking something down into a smaller and smaller parts or components, which is um, what decomposition is or decompose, breaking apart. <clears throat> Firstly, how do um, invertebrates, what are invertebrates and how do they do it? Um, if you search probably invertebrates decomposition, I think is easier than de invertebrates nutrient cycling and summarize the, um, the role and method and the way they do it. Um, so invertebrates um, examples are worms, millipedes, springtails, um, which I've already given you a photo of, of uh, millipedes. So they have mouth parts, obviously, and they chew off bits of the organic matter, and then they break them into smaller pieces. And the matter passes through their gut, so they digest it in the same way that we digest food and break it down into smaller parts. And um, yeah, that's kind of what's going on there. And so we have our examples, and um, the microbes then attack um, pieces of the excrement for invertebrates. So this is important here, how they kind of work together. So invertebrates break really large things down into small things, and then the microbes can attack those small things and break it down even further. And eventually, obviously, plants can access those um, nutrients like carbon or nitrogen, etc., and various other things as well. And so invertebrates help increase um, nutrient transfer in the environment by up to 50%. So invertebrates, uh, worms and millipedes and all the things we've discussed are um, really important in breaking down um, organic matter and allowing it to cycle and nutrient cycling, which is just turning, we've already seen the nitrogen cycle, um, turning to various different forms of nitrogen. That's what uh, nutrient cycling refers to. Uh, microbes, so if we search the term microbes nutrient cycling or even microbes decomposition, um, you'll find some stuff about microbes. So what I want here is um, what do microbes do and then some examples, um, name, naming some examples. So microbes obviously are small living bacteria or fungi that we can't see because they're microscopic, uh, which is why they're called microbes. And they digest organic material externally. So they don't, um, unlike invertebrates, which actually take the organic matter into their body and break it down, um, microbes actually break it down by excreting enzymes and breaking down the, um, the matter externally to themselves. And then the enzymes um, break down the, the detritus or the components, the things that it's decaying into s more simple components. And then those simple components that are absorbed into the wall of the microbe. So that's how the microbe kind of feeds itself. 
And then there's also obviously those um, more simple compounds available to other things, um, such as plants. And so they're basically, um, these molecules are broken into inorganic forms such as NH4 plus uh, that plants can use. And bacteria examples here are bacillus, the bacillus genus. So um, there's lots of bacillus uh, and the bacillus thuringiensis, which is one we know from Bt cotton is a soil bacteria and that also helps um, break down organic matter. And the last one here, fungi example, the mucor genus um, is an is an example of a genus of fungi that break um, that break organic matter apart. So in terms of past questions, there's not a, not a lot here, and really these um these past questions are pretty much based on other dot points, but I kind of put them in here because they're somewhat related, um, not directly though. So what is the name of the bacteria responsible for the nodule formation on legumes? We already know that it's rhizobium. Um, clearly that's from the dot point in plant production on uh, nodules, etc. Uh, what is the role of rhizobium bacteria found in root nodules? This is from the same dot point really in plant production, but it's a bit of refresh here. Um, what is the role of rhizobium bacteria in root nodules of legume plants? And um, it's not energy, it's not resistance, uh, it's not absorbing water. It is to provide an available source of nitrogen to the plant.